Hey everyone, myself Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. So let's begin this video that will help you in your phase one current affairs of RBI Sri Lanka. So guys, the first question that we have is recently National Skill Development Corporation has launched the first of its kind and the largest impact bond for skilling in India. What is the total corpus of this bond? So the right answer is US dollar fourteen point four million. Okay, so guys, let me. Briefly introduce you with the entire news before moving into the details of this news. Okay, because if we have the basic corpus, if we have the basic idea in our mind, the blueprint in our mind, then it will help you in understanding the news in detail as well. Okay, so kill kill impact bonds. Every bond aims to raise money. okay so these bonds also aim to raise money now they have raised this money from a consortium of organizations that is being led by nsdc national skill development corporation okay so the money has been raised from the consortium led by nsdc now this money will be invested into the training institutions because the basic purpose is to provide skill to the youth so training institutions will get this money and they will utilize this money as their working capital to provide training to the youth now how many youth 50000 youth so this is the target and out of these 60000 60% should be the females okay so i hope that this is clear this is the basic fundamental of this skill impact bond now 50000 youth will be covered will be provided with the skill training so that they become employment ready and out of this 50000 60% should be the females how much would be the tenure of this bond so the tenure of this bond would be 4 years okay so i hope that this is clear to you this was the basic structure of this skill impact bond the basic purpose is to provide skill and every bond is for raising money so through these bonds money will be raised from the uh, investors and investors have formed a consortium so there are various investors and those investors are being headed by or led by the nsdc now the money will be provided to the training institutions which will then provide the training to the youth so that is the basic structure now let's move into the details okay so this is the largest impact bond due to the amount that it has that it contains the tenure is 4 years we already have discussed it earlier now these bonds will be able to provide working capital to the service providers and the service providers and training institutes will be the training institutes which are affiliated with nsdc already this again is already done now what are impact bonds first of all guys whenever you come across such such terms like impact bonds masala bonds green bonds these are very important they can be asked in your examination okay i guess there was one question on green bonds in 2019 or prior to that in your rbi examination so it is so this is highlighting that you need to put your attention to such terms whenever you come across these terms in your uh, in your newspaper or in your current affairs magazine whichever option you are opting for preparing the current affairs okay so let's have a brief introduction or look at the impact bonds okay so impact bond the name itself is clarifying the purpose that is the money that will be raised to using these bonds should have an impact and that impact should have a bearing on the social dimension so these impacts the these bonds are primarily raised for financing some kind of social project for example this project can be in the field of education like we have seen the project the skill impact bond that is for skilling so this is one social project for which the bonds the impact bonds have been launched so this is clear so impact bonds are innovative financing instruments that attract investment from private investors for social projects okay pay attention to these two terms 
in lieu of the government and the donor so here the focus is to attract money from the private players such investment hold more accountability and is focused on achieving outcomes obviously when the private players are involved they invest their money in some kind of a project obviously they will be more concerned about the outcomes the accountability will rise therefore the there are high chances that the outcome will be achieved now in the impact bonds the role played by the outcomes is very very important you will understand this thing when we will read this point okay first let's have a look at this the private investors initially finance the initiative and are repaid by the outcome funders only if the agreed upon outcomes are achieved okay so basically the investors who have invested their money they will only get their money back in uh, addition to the return on the principal amount only if the predetermined outcome is achieved for example in the social impact bond we have 50000 target people to be skilled if this outcome is achieved only then the investors who have invested their money will get their money back but who is going to pay back them are the training institutions going to pay back them or the people who have got the skills will pay them back in the form of their wages no nobody is going to pay them back and instead of the uh, outcome funders only the outcome funders will be paying these investors back once the outcomes are achieved if the outcomes are not achieved then nobody will get the money the investors will not get their money back therefore this is the risk invest this is a risk investment okay now the underlying principle of the impact bond is the outcome funding clear hai outcome hoga tabhi to impact nazar aayega if we are aiming to achieve a certain impact in the society then obviously it should to be visible in the outcome if the outcome is not coming then how can we say that we have made an impact in the society therefore the underlying principle of the impact bond is outcome funding okay outcome <clears throat> basically funding will you will get the money back when the outcome is achieved impact bonds draw their money from the investors and outcome funders pay back the principal and the return to the investors only when the predetermined outcomes are achieved okay so i hope that you have understood this thing therefore impact bonds are very effective when we are talking about any kind of social project okay it is a very effective source of funding for a social project so what is outcome funding this picture is clearly telling you the purpose or the meaning of the outcome funding you are completely free to carry out whatever research you want this person is saying to this researcher that you can do whatever you want with the money that i am giving you but but with the but if you don't achieve the conclusions then you will not get the money okay so basically the funding that this person has received if the conclusions are not achieved if the outcomes are not achieved then the investor will not get the money back okay so he might be the researcher so there is no take on the researcher he does not have to pay back anything to this person but the investor has to bear the loss if this researcher fails to come at any any conclusion therefore in the impact bond funding the investors work closely with the service provider so that the outcomes can be achieved because their money is at the stake okay so outcome funding refers to the financing the project with the purpose of achieving outcomes clear here from the name itself outcome funders can be government private entity ngo who pay back to the investors their principal and return after the outcomes are achieved okay so private players be outcome funders ho sakte hai but what are the private players getting in return for uh, uh, giving back the money to the investors they are getting nothing they are just the philanthropist who are doing this work for charity purpose but investors are not philanthropist every investor seeks its return therefore investors are doing investment in these bonds but the outcome funders are doing charity are doing philanthropy work okay so i hope that this is clear so this 
investor is very worried will he get his money back or not so yes he will get the money back only when the outcomes are achieved if we take the example of social sorry skill impact bond i continuously uh, repeat myself as social impact bond but guys it is skill impact bond do remember okay so yes the money will be there money will be returned to the investors only when the 50000 people i have got their uh, skilling properly okay if the predetermined outcomes in this case skilling of the youth that to with 60% females aisa nahi ki aapne 100% ya uh, 60% males ko skill skill uh, training provide kar di and only 40% females were covered on also at that point of time you have not achieved the predetermined outcome okay if they are achieved and the impact they created in the society is reasonable the investors money gets paid back if the outcomes are not achieved the investors don't get their money back therefore it is a risk investment on the part of the investors but why are they doing it they are doing it for social goods many times investors pay for these fundings for these projects out of their csr obligations so still the investor do it for the social good and outcome funders do it for the philanthropy Uh, work okay now guys understand this thing as well this is a very basic thing this has nothing quantifiable this this does not have any quantifiable impact on the things that you have learned so far but still it is a basic thing that you should be aware of that outcome funding is not only limited to the quantifiable objectives or outcomes for example in the skill impact bond we have a target of skilling 50000 youth okay so does this mean that your work is done if you have provided the skill training to the 50000 people no outcome funding also considers the qualitative impact of the funding of the project for example in this case it will also consider the improvement in the female labor force participation rate in india because it is low and in order to boost this up this skill impact bond has been launched with 60% female participation or target group okay improvement in the lifestyle of the females is the funding be able to uh, improve the lifestyle of the females and enhance the opportunities for the unemployment youth if all of these objectives are achieved then it would be the true return for the investor basically here we are not focusing on the quantifiable outcomes quantify quantity terms mein to we have provided skills to the 50000 youth then okay we have achieved the outcome but the impact bond the basic purpose the intention of launching the these bonds or launching such kind of project is to see a change in the society is to see the impact created by that project i hope that you are understanding it okay so this is the larger scenario that the people who issue such kinds of bonds have in their mind so that was all about the outcome funding about the impact bonds about the skill impact bonds so that was the first question but guys the video does not end here you have four more questions so be there and don't lose your attention okay which state has launched go green scheme and its portal to provide electric two wheelers at subsidized rates to construction and industrial workers of the state so here the right answer is gujarat now the basic purpose is to provide electric two wheelers to the people so that the pollution can be reduced and the adoption of two wheelers electric vehicles can be increased in the state okay and it will be provided at the subsidized rates very obvious 30% subsidy would be given to the uh, organized sector workers and 50% would be given to the construction work workers but the overall ceiling is rupees 30000 okay so if your um, the vehicle's price is up to 30000 okay or the basically the subsidy amount is capped at 30% of the vehicle price or rupees 30000 so if the subsidy the 30% of the subsidy is more than 30000 then you will not get the subsidy of that amount you will get only 30000 so whichever is less i hope that you are understanding and in the initial phase the state government aims to provide 
the battery powered two wheelers to 1000 construction workers and 2000 organized sector workers okay do remember 30000 is the ceiling for both construction workers and organized sector workers which organization has launched swach sorry swast mahila swast goa initiative to tackle the problem of breast cancer in the state so here uv can foundation has launched this program, this initiative in the state, which is an organization of the cricketer, Yuvraj Singh. Do remember this thing, guys. This can also become a direct question in your examination, okay? So who founded the UVCAN um, foundation? Then the answer would be Yuvraj Singh. Now, in partnership with SBI Foundation and the government of Goa, this initiative has been launched that will screen the possibility of breast cancer in 1 lakh women. And this amounts to 50% of the female population of the state. Okay, so this large coverage is there in this initiative and the basic purpose is to tackle the problem of breast cancer. So not only screening, but pre-treatment will also be provided to the cancer positive patients. Now, Indian Institute of Banking and Finance and SBI Foundation both are financing this initiative. The device eye breast will be used for screening and the eye breast exam so both of these devices will be used in order to screen the women with possible cancer or the women who they who are there the targeted people which country has announced to launch the renewable energy certificates to verify that electricity has been generated from the renewable energy only here the right answer is singapore guys do pay attention to the to the initiatives or the new things that are being launched by the other countries because particularly in the field of climate because climate is a hot topic and you can expect a question on climate a question related to climate in your objective type as well as in your descriptive also so do prepare it thoroughly the answer on the climate should be prepared thoroughly now singapore is planning to implement this certificate which will be given to the electricity generators in order to verify that electricity has been generated from the renewable energy only. Also, the one certificate represents one megawatt of energy that has been generated from the renewable energy and delivered to the regional grid, the native grid of, Sing of Singapore. Also recently, Australia has committed to become the net zero emission country by 2050. So it has reiterated its commitment. So do remember such things in relation to the climate change and the initiatives taken by the countries to tackle that change. Indian origin, Anita Anand has become the only Indian origin women minister in, the Can in Canada's PM Justin Trudeau's cabinet. Which portfolio does she hold? Defense, finance, agriculture, commerce, women, and gender equality. Which portfolio does she hold? What do you think, guys? The right answer here is defense. Defense is the right answer. Now, she is the person, and there is nothing much that you need to cram your mind into in this news. It's just a very simple news of appointment. And here the video ends. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. In case you haven't understood anything, then you can mention it in the comment section below. I'll try to resolve resolve your query there. Thank you so much for watching the video.